All right, welcome back to Thea the Awakening on our Horus run. And let's take a couple minutes to reacquaint with what we were doing yesterday. Cooking fish, crafting a basket, that's gonna be useful. We can't do any buildings, noted. Okay, and we were gathering Wicker with our expedition party, which will allow us to craft even more baskets. So perfect. All right, let's go ahead and get started then. And when I say get started, I mean sit here and <laughs> harvest our resources. Basket is done. Um, I don't really need it on anyone in here. So I'll save it for my expedition party. In fact, I think she has one equipped and she doesn't really need it. She only needs an 80. Okay, so she does need it because she only has six right now. I think somebody in the expedition has a two. Yes. So next time we return, we'll give that to her. That's all she needs. And then I, this group can have all of the good ones. is now inactive. What can we do with you? Don't have enough wicker for another basket. Uh, I got plenty of fish, but not much else. Maybe some seaweed, maybe some wood. Craft what we can. It keeps them busy for a few turns. Better than nothing, I suppose. Thea is not an easy place to grow up in, but alas, grow up we must. One of your children has matured into a young adult and is ready to join your village and rebuild Thea. Okay, so I have a gatherer already that grew up. I think I need another warrior for the village. Becoming an adult is an important rite of passage. The whole village celebrates this joyous occasion. The youngster places a food offering at the altars of their gods, in thanks and in hopes for a good future. See what we got to give him. Not much in the way of armor, unfortunately. Give him that. Hmm. What do we got? We got a sword and shield. We got an axe. I feel like we need more shielding. 
Or I could give him the hammer. Yeah, we need some hammer damage. Okay. We need to start getting better gear and soon. good for now. Hey, give me some silk. Always need plenty of silk. It's a one skull fight, I'm just gonna auto resolve it. There we go. Bees. Bees are annoying. I'm just gonna let all of them act first to avoid the poke damage. I only have a single confuse. That's a little unfortunate. I can first action someone, so he's gonna die no matter what. So we'll just skip him. Then we'll confuse that one. And we'll wait for the last B to come out. There we go. All right. I first action him, he's gonna kill the first two, and then these can clean up. That's the plan. Go ahead and support him for the hell of it. First action, and then warriors. There, ah, oh, it's bad quality, but it's still better armor than what we gave him. the expedition I want us to do. Vladimir, you get the new armor. It's only slightly heavier. You'll be fine. Alright, how much have we gathered thus far? 35. We kind of need more still. How much goes into a single basket? Four. Although, we only have 34 silk, so I guess we already have enough to move forward. Yeah, let's just take that back and begin construction of the next round of baskets. I guess that's the better idea. Ooh, what do we got here? Some goblin warriors. Shouldn't be too much of a challenge. I get to go first, eh? Well, we'll send out our best warrior. Oh, some poke damage. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Not gonna be able to kill him. So, let's confuse him. Okay, if he attacks to the right, this guy's dead. If he attacks to the left, unfortunately, he's gonna have eight life left. So let's see what we can do about that. Let's confuse this guy. Um, 20 life. I don't have anyone that does 20. That's 13, potentially 15, 13, potentially 15. They all do 13, potentially 15. Okay. Well, let's send out the highest armor with shield okay he takes 17 so I can't kill anyone in one go that's unfortunate I could poke this guy which would do 5 damage make him a 12 and then she can yeah she can kill him her I guess there's a chest there Assuming she attacks to the right. Um, everyone's confused. Can't first action anybody. So we'll just go like this and get closer. So that's very unfortunate. That's probably a good four wounds on him. Seven wounds. Damn. Oh well, decent axe, 
Very heavy armor that's bad quality. We're getting rid of that. Let's drop off all of our miscellaneous items. Keep the fish, keep the wicker, the, that, that, and that. Uh, we don't need that much wood. Let's go with just 20. I do need more food. Let's see, we'll take all of that. Which puts us up to 24 days. Uh, I want 30 just to be safe. With 8 people, would be 240 total. I need 184. Let's see what that does. There we go. And then start production of those baskets. Finally, let's remove that basket from him, give it to the village, put it on to Slava, because that's all she needs to gather the fish. And then the rest of my team gets the baskets, and the crafter can have the bad quality hammer. Oh, no you can't. It's too heavy. Crafter, crafter, both of you. Damn it. You no longer need this then. The basket's more important. Seventy-two weight. Well, only a warrior is going to be able to equip you. We'll put you on the axe guy. And then give that back. What's our next objective? We have now an eight and an eight, which would be one twenty max. Well, plus these guys, so. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 132 max, if I gave them all to one thing. Gold has uses, but not really. And quartz wouldn't be a bad idea, that's really good for buildings. Eventually I'm going to need coal. Yeah, let's, let's research the quartz. That way I can start building more cabbage patches that are good quality. And the quartz was down here. Fear is not an easy place to grow up in, but alas, grow up we must. One of your children has matured into a young adult and is ready to join your village and rebuild Thea. Mm, let's go with another warrior for the Becoming village. an adult is an important rite of passage. The whole village celebrates this joyous occasion. The youngster places a food offering at the altars of their gods, in thanks and in hopes for a good future. That should give us enough protection for the village for a while. Um, don't really have anything good quality for you, unfortunately, but... give you a decent sword and shield maybe no shields are too heavy let's see instead of that let's do that and then give him a 441 
Two more demons. Unfortunately, both of our hammers are in the tactical hand yet again. We'll make do though. So, hammer damage, that's not good. 17 life. Hmm. And he's level 8, so I have no chance of confusing him. I can't first action anybody. All I can do is shield. So I feel like send... Hmm. Yeah, let's send her out. Let's shield her. Oh, and they had a spear. Damn it. Okay, that's a lot of damage incoming. That's gonna kill her. I think we just give up and take the minor wounds. Yeah, that's much better than losing somebody. Finish another basket. Somebody's inactive? Oh, the warriors. That's right. Well, it's kind of a waste, but whatever do you have a basket equipped good question that was a waste you did not need that basket because you're already doing 40 that was an oversight by me that's unfortunate making too many mistakes today and we only just started um how much does it Three. Whereas that's unknown. That's really weird. I guess I will just simply camp here and only gather the quartz. Quartz doesn't take a lot. Interesting. So, yeah, next turn we'll move and see what else we can gather with it. I can't see around. Do it again. More demons. At least this time I have a one hammer in my hand. Okay, there's the spear. That was lucky. She will kill it on her turn, which I like. And then we'll send out the hammer. So yeah, this is going much better. So she kills this one, no problem. He kills this one, no problem. Has two extra damage to do to him. And then we'll send these two out. And everything should be peachy. Yep. Good to go. We'll just get closer with everyone for the hell of it. Good stuff. Let's see. Yes, I'll keep you. Good quality sword. One-handed. Might have a use for you. 10-1. Okay. 3-4-1. Bad quality. You can go. 10-2. 17-3. Super heavy, but I'm sure a warrior can make good use of that right now. So let's see what we got. 15-2-4. Makes him more attractive. He doesn't have any base attractiveness other than that that gives him, so not a huge loss. Do any of my warriors have base attractiveness? Which sounds really weird saying. He has three, which comes from his axe. We still may give it to him. Which just kind of builds his attractiveness. Yeah, let's do that. Now he's a moderately attractive man. Never thought I'd say that either. What do we got? Uh, 11 armor. 
Just gave him that. That's got 15. So is there a improvement? It's 11 and 2, 11 and 2. And it's heavier. So nope, no improvements there. Um, she doesn't have the strength to equip anything heavier. He can equip something that's 58 pounds or less, which is none of this. 4, 5, and 2, no. 5, 6, and 2, no. Yeah, she can't equip anything heavier either. So, only a slight upgrade for us, but still an upgrade. Like all the health, that's going to be super helpful. Leech is always nice. Strength helps. And gathering on our medic could be useful later on. Not too helpful on our villagers. She just got two in gathering, so she no longer needs that basket.
All right. Sorry about that. I had to go take care of something real quick. There we go. Let's see. Now that it's daytime, I should be able to start seeing a little further. So let's see what's around us. Only the gold. Well, to make the most of everything, I might as well research the gold. So that now I can not waste all of my gathers. So. She's the only one needed for that. 130, 135. Well, that's the best I can do right now. Might as well, just so it stops giving me the warning that there's inactive people. Okay. So now we're gathering gold and quartz every turn. I already looked at that, thank you. I know about that gold. Get another basket done. Okay. Weight wise, we're gonna have to keep an eye on it. We're still not quite strong enough to carry a ton of stuff. Now that we're getting both gold and quartz, which I believe is pretty heavy. And yet each individual piece of quartz is 20. And we'll see in two turns how much gold weighs. Ah, some snakes. Warp snakes. We're a bit outnumber. Uh, well, actually, we outnumber them by one. Okay. Let's send the hammer out. I don't think they have piercing damage. And that would be correct. She's going to kill both of those like it was nothing. Let's send out the weaker warrior and the better shield. In fact, let's get rid of one of their cards. And then the next warrior. Since they're both going to be inactive, why not? Okay, let's walk through this real quick. She kills both of those. She kills that one. He kills that one. He kills this one. So we only need to worry about confusing this one. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and use her to shield. And then confuse that guy. There, no damage should happen. Easy peasy. One gathering. Useful at the start, though we're already crafting better ones. But I can put that to use in the meantime. Let's see, she's got one, he's got one, she has one. Who was my single point gatherer? He was. Nothing, nothing. She has two gatherings. I guess it'd be better on. Oh, that's why. She's too weak. But he'll take it. Which now puts us at 142. So close. Okay. More fights. Goblins. There's always a chance one of them has a spear. Hmm. I think it's still too good of a chance to pass up sending the hammer out first. And no spear. Awesome. Go ahead and send our spear out. In case they do have one between these. Still not. Okay, so. 24 damage. She's gonna kill this guy and deal 4 to him. Puts him at 14. She's gonna do 15 and kill him. He's gonna do 33 and kill whatever this guy is, and then she's just gonna be the shield in case it is a spear. Haha, good. We're so good, I'm not even gonna put anyone else out. What do we got? 4, 5, and 2. Still very useful. 3 and 5. Not very useful. Training sword. Very unuseful. 2 armor. I 
see if everyone in my group has something now. No! He can equip 58 weight. He can equip this, so two armor is better than nothing. Four, five, and two. Four, five, and two. So no upgrade there. Five, six, and two. Five, six, and two. So yeah, that sword actually is not helpful for us. At least in our expedition. Let's see. Eight people, seven people. So, I think one more, a medic in our village, and then they're good, and we can start worrying about a second expedition group. Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, did we click gold finally? We did. Let's see how heavy that is. Four per unit, so that's not so bad. It's the quartz that's gonna rack up really quick. As you make your way down a path, you hear some voices around a corner. You stop to listen in. Shit, Gareth, your legs all messed up, oh, like serious, like. Oh no, oh, oh no, I'm gonna gag, I can see your bone. For Horace's <laughs> sake, Piglet, don't tell me that. Now I'm going to fight or something. Just hold on, man, hold on. This is interesting, I've never seen this one before. As you peek from around the corner, you realize the two voices belong to goblins. One of them lies on the ground with his lower body covered by rubble. The other sits crouched by his friend, desperately trying to dig him out. But as soon as he moves any rocks, they shift, hurting the fallen goblin even more. So it could be a dick, but I feel like there could be a good reward here if I just help them. The uninjured goblin almost jumps in joy, seemingly forgetting any potential danger from your party. Yes, yes, good sirs, please help us, please, he cries out. I'm not going to try to extort, I just want to see what good fortune will give us. Satisfied there are no other dangers lurking, your group tries to assist the fallen greenskin. With the help of the tools, it should be easier, but you'll need to put your back into it. A one school physical challenge is not going to be a problem. Not with so many warriors in our group. Let's see. I have confuses, we will make use of them. And then for the hell of it, we'll just... Oh, that's counter offense, my bad. Counter tactic, there we go. So, one card to deal with that is confused. It takes 12 damage to kill it. Well, there you go. He'll kill the next one, and we're done. Your men use their tools to take out the goblin safely. He is wounded, but not critical. With some first aid, his friend should be able to take him home safely. And we have a medic. The medic patches up the goblin, and it looks like he will live. His friend is overjoyed. Thanks you, friends. Thanks you so much. I won't lie in when I says I don't have much, but you guys like really helped us out, so I got something more. Me and the sickly kid here, we were out scouting, and we found something real interesting. Just be careful, like, okay? There'll be some trouble there for sure. Some silver, that's nice. And you revealed the place of interests. We'll check it out eventually. Let's see, we still got some weight we can carry. Here comes the undead. Alright, our guy is no longer busy. What else can we do with you in the meantime? I wonder, since they have all this research, and we're gathering some materials, what would be my first priority? I think some better armor, up to medium. Um, right now, swords are still pretty useful, so let's be able to craft both of those. Let's see what we can do with that. Use 
wood for the catalyst. Now we can use monster bone. With well, let's try the leather first. So nine and six is pretty damn good. I know we can do better. That'd be seven, six, and three, which is technically better because that's ten with the potential of thirteen damage, like that. And if we did scale, that jumps it up by one. Okay, it's a pretty small increase. That jumps it a big time, but I'm pretty sure it makes that super heavy. 140 versus 90. But it would go on our warriors. And they usually have the strength to handle it. So I'm liking that. 11-3. What else we got? 9-3. 9-3 with some will. Has its uses. 9-3. 7-4. And we'll get a random skill from that. Mm -hmm. Some dexterity. Is that the same? No, it's more. 9 4 and a random skill versus 9 3. Oh, wait, the stone was the better one. 11 3. So 14, potential 17, whereas if I did this, it would be 13, potential 17. And it has a chance of being a helpful skill. I think that's going to be the better option right now. And we can make two of those. So let's gamble and see what kind of skill we can get. Apparently the undead is just happy to sit there. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. Goblin boar rider. The warriors aren't a problem, but that boar rider, he's going to be annoying. We got a sword built. Let's see, who would like that sword? 9, 6, and 3. This is our new one, which came with backstab. It is an improvement. Seven and five. Yeah, you can have that one. And we'll see what the next sword is. Uh, they're getting close to their weight capacity. I really don't like this guy here. But even if I run, he'll probably attack me. So let's just see what happens. He sits there. Second sword is ready. What do we got? Bad quality. That's very unfortunate. Which means it didn't even get an extra ability. Damn. And it's worse for him. Okay, what can we make next? Alright, puts oh we can't use wood anywhere but there, which is gonna be really crappy. Put some monster bone down and leather there. That gives us eleven armor. Eh, it's not much of an improvement from what we have already. We did all monster bone thirteen, it's so looking a little better. Uh if we did scale, fourteen and one. Twelve. Twelve with will. We did that. Oh, we don't have enough of that. Never mind. Uh, well, we would if we did that. And then use string. So that would be 11, 2, and 3. Kind of a utility armor. What else we got? We got regular bone, which does 11 down to 9. Not very useful. I'm pretty sure all my warriors have something. Oh, never mind. I'm a fool. Here, you have that. I take that back. I need more armor. Let's get those monster bone with the gold going. 
Uh, I'm only going to be able to make two. Yeah. But it's better than nothing. Confirm. And then we'll set up the next one to follow after that. So gold, some monster bones, regular leather. Confirm. Apparently that goblin boar rider does not want to attack me, which suits me just fine. I would enjoy the spider hitting me though, I could use some more silk. Uh, getting close to our max weight limit. More snakes, spores, those are technically demons. And they're bats. Which makes no sense versus the snake image. Hmm. Okay. Um, I can confuse him. Which I think is what we'll do. Confuse. And we'll send out our highest armored guy. So either direction he's going to kill somebody. Which is good. Then we'll send our next shielded person. We'll shield her for one more so that if he does not kill this one and it attacks this way, she'll only take one damage, which is acceptable. So if this goes perfectly, he attacks this way, kills it. She can kill either one of them. And then they'll clean up. perfectly. This sword, not going to have its uses anymore. We're almost full here, but I kind of really want the chance at that spider web. I'm just going to auto resolve, they're super easy. No spider web, but that might be useful on some of my weaker people that can't carry much. Like, she only has two there, so that would be an upgrade. He has two. That would be an upgrade. Um, he can carry more than her, so he gets it. And let's head back. Off all the miscellaneous stuff. Oops, I needed that fish. Oh well. The weapons and the armor. Okay, we need 240 fish to eat. Allow. Which is 30 days. Let's take 20 days of wood again. Baskets. Let's see what we can do with all that. You definitely cannot equip a basket. You're good on armor. Here's a basket. 11 and 2. And here's a small upgrade for you. And you get a basket. I feel like Oprah. You get a basket. You get a basket. Everybody gets a basket. have a basket, 5, weight 40, this is super heavy, you're not going to be able to equip it, sorry, you already have a basket, and you already have a basket, 
So I'll keep one on hand. Well, let's wait 14. No, she can only equip two. Weight of two. So unfortunate. Uh, and none of my warriors needed that armor. Okay. We'll hand everything back except one of these. Check out equipping everyone here. I need to clean out my items because this is a little ridiculous. Oh yeah, that sword. Maybe somebody can use that. Two-handed sword, what do you got? Eight and six. You lose one shielding but gain poison. It's an option. You're the only option. So yeah, let's let's do that. Um go back to Astoria. So that armor is an improvement for her. He has five. So our options are 11, 11, 10. So you get one of the 11s. You can have that one. She has nothing. So you can have one of those 11s. Vladimir already has an 11. She has nothing. She's strong enough to carry more stuff. So you can have an 11. You don't need that anymore. You are not very strong. You can carry 114, or sorry, 112 in weight. Which means that. And you can't carry anything else. Alright, I think we're done gearing out. Let's clear out the inventory a bit. We had a lot of crappy weapons. Oh, I know a quick way to do this. Expedition 1. Go check out that place of interest. You see a man in worn out armor with insignia unknown to these lands. Hello, King Arthur. He's standing by a rock, clearly deep in thought, as he does not see you approach. When you look closer, you see he is looking at a sword half embedded in the rock. The man jumps up, startled by your voice. He grabs the hilt of his sword, but does not draw it. He takes a few steps back and speaks. How dare you disturb a king's moment of peace? I mean, I'm sorry, old habits. I am no king, not anymore. But you, my friends, look like, well, potentially, that is, I mean, you could maybe be called knights, right? My name is Arathor. I have traveled here from afar in the west, led by an ancient quest from my forefathers. I was led to believe that this sword will help me rebuild my kingdom and save us from the darkness. Alas, I have lost all of my knights just getting here. And now, now that I am faced with the sword, those blasted demons, they have cursed me with weakness and I am unable to fulfill my destiny. The sword is my test, my burden and my fate. It will not serve any other. My time is running out. I must return to my kingdom soon, or all shall be lost. Now, the sword is for me to claim, but as king, I can appoint you my knights, and you could claim it in my stead. The magic binding the weapon in stone will permit it, I think. Will you become my knights? Knights? Let's do it. Oh, well, a knight is a brave warrior, sworn to serve their king and god to uphold the law. It is a man. Oh, um, sorry, well, I suppose in my kingdom we only appoint men, but desperate times. So... It is a person who is righteous and honorable. Now, I solemnly swear I will release you from my service once the deed I ask is done, and I hold the sword in my hand. Will you accept? Yes. Wonderful. I knew fate would provide my salvation. I did not know if your hearts were pure enough, but your agreement to serve my purpose, with no promise of a reward, proves that you are indeed the ones I seek. Now, by the power of a rightfully anointed King of Camroth, I pronounce you Knights of Camroth and I command you to take the sword for me. You got it. 
physical challenge. We have plenty of warriors, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, let's see, let's send out the strongest guy. Yep, he kills him, no problem. Has a little bit of leech, which is nice. So, second strongest. And let's see if we can get rid of that. Oh, nope. That's unfortunate. Oh, I should have used the 12. Foolish me. I can get rid of the tactic cards, though. And then send out the 15. So, he kills that one, no problem. That takes 19. He only does 18. Ouch. Oh well. If she attacks either direction, she kills. We'll confuse him so that we take no damage. And we win. Just like we work that. together and pull out the sword from the stone. It looks like an ordinary weapon, except that it seems undamaged from its unusual sheath. When you hold it in your hands, however, you feel a surge of strange power coursing through your veins, and it feels really good. So I could strike him down and keep it. It's a moderately decent sword with uh, poison, I believe. I'd rather just the give it to him. The drops down on one knee as he accepts the sword from you. He speaks, and his voice becomes more forceful and clear than before. Well done, my knights. You have passed the test of loyalty and purity of soul, for this sword is known to lead its keepers astray. An ancient bloodline runs in my veins, one that has, in the past, both failed and succeeded in this very test. It has always been my fate to hold this blade and see what I am made of. And since I do not heed the urge to cleave you where you stand, I am hopeful that I too have passed. I release you from your oaths, Knights of Camroth. May the fates bring you strength and prosperity. I also give you this map. It will lead you to a bridge where you will be tasked with a test. And if you pass, a treasure will reveal itself to you. I meant to find it myself, but it seems fate had other plans. So go forth and seek it out. Thank you. I will now travel back to my lands. And using the sword, I will try to reclaim my kingdom and restore the eternal tower to ward off the darkness. I wish I could tell you more, but it seems other lands are in peril, and it is a knight's duty to protect and defend. Alas, I am also a king, and I must first right the wrongs of my own people. I feel a great destiny within you, and I hope you will succeed in your own quest one day. Farewell. The king bows to you and holds up the sword. A light shines down from the skies, and he disappears. Goodbye, King Arthur. Okay. Well, that's kind of out of the way for now, so we're not going to worry about that right yet. Can we move any further? Yes, we can. Okay. Next crafting job. I don't... Oh, we do have... Oh, we don't have enough silk. Okay, construction. Don't have enough for a cabbage field. Let's research something. Because... Do we have one, two, three? So there are some decent resources three away. A road wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, that's gonna take this one, the palisade, and there's the road. Busted path. So with that. Do we have what we need? We do not. What do we need? Oh, we need lots of... Okay. Don't have any dried wood. I can get some string or straw. That's not a problem. Need more granite. Hmm. And coal. It's going to be a while before we can build that path, unfortunately. <clears throat> Gotta level up. Lots of strength. Ooh, and the medic got more medic -y. I like it. Let's see. A little bit of health. 
kind of a hodgepodge level. Oh well. I really want to see what this is giving us. Because I've never seen that event before. Another night falls over fear, and restless souls of the damned seek out the living in envy and anger. You can almost feel the approaching wave of these infernal wraiths seeking to burden your souls. But this night, a welcomed guest is seen in the shadows, a Lapidoc, the spirit catcher. This bizarre looking creature, resembling an overgrown toad with long claws, yellow warts, and a row of razor sharp teeth, is actually a humble servant of Velez. In the old days, tasked with the hunting of wayward souls and misbehaved wraiths, but now, hopelessly overfed, and ever busy with his task of devouring evil spirits. There's no reason to not let it do its thing. It gives you a blessing. Thanks to the Lapidoc, your people sleep well this night, and they feel strengthened the next morning. All right, what do you got for me? You find the area marked X on your map, but it seems like it's just a pile of stones. You take some time to move the rocks, but there is still not much there. It could well be that the supposed treasure is buried beneath, but since there are no signs of it, it may be a false lead, or maybe it was just a very long time ago. And we've got no problem with it. Two school physical challenge. Let's do this. Best warrior. Who just now got confused? Damn it. I can... You know, we're just going to not even give him an offensive chance. So, they're both confused. We'll kill it on his next turn, or I can just let him kill it to begin with, and he'll kill one of those. These two won't do much. We'll just get closer to finish it out. The dig took long hours, and you now fear you may collapse soon. So when you finally hit what looks like a chest, you hope to the gods it was worthwhile. You open up the chest and find some of the stuff has long been broken or rotted away. But amongst the rubbish, there are still a few gems. The moonstone is super nice, but that's not enough to do anything with. That's decent medium armor. I'm sure I can find a use for that. Weird though, they said there was trouble waiting for me there. That was no trouble at all. Oh well. Um, so it's not useful for anyone in my party because it's heavy. You have the blessing of strength, which gives you five strength, which means this is actually 250 less. So yeah, you won't be able to wear it after that wears off. Same thing with you. Oh well, maybe somebody in the village will like it. Uh, ooh, obsidian. Could make use of that later. Don't need elven wood. Let's see what this building is. Next turn. Skeletons. I like skeletons. Okay. Need to confuse you. Then send out the hammer. So he just got buffed. He now has 35 health. My hammer only does 30. So if he attacks left, he kills. If he attacks right, not so much. We will go ahead and confuse him, get closer with the spear just for some pokey. He now has 30 life, so none of my guys are going to be able to kill him. We will send out the two weaker warriors first, then the stronger warrior, get closer, and we're done. Should not take any damage whatsoever. Just like that. Shield is no longer useful. Mm. The attractiveness makes it maybe useful. Possibly. We'll see. 
That's a three skull fight. Yep. I don't feel ready for that. We are just gonna take off. With our tail between our legs. A small group of refugees is seen traveling near your village. The people look scared and worn out, but they do have some decent looking fighters with them. An older man walks up to you to speak. We are not looking for trouble, nor do we seek anything from your village. We would have chosen a path more remote, but this one seemed easier for us to travel. Our home was taken by an orcish clan, and we now travel south to seek our fortunes elsewhere. Well, we tried to fight, but failed. And truth be told, we stayed put for too long. But you know what? These brutes, they killed a bunch of our people and took much of our goods. So if you want to try and beat them, be our guests. We had a sizable lumber mill and a small quarry, so not only will you avenge our people, you'll be well rewarded, you know. Our pleasure. The road will be lighter knowing that revenge may be at hand. I'm not ready to fight to try to steal something, but there's no harm if I fail a social challenge, and if I succeed, I get some children and maybe a warrior or two. I'll take I it. I seek to find my roots and return to a homeland long forgotten. But I cannot speak for all my people. Speak to them if they want. I will not stand in their way. We are definitely not prepared for a social challenge, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. She's gonna do five damage. He can absorb most of it and potentially kill her. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of one of their offensive cards. Seems like a good play. All of the offenses are out. So it's not going to make any difference if I put these guys out now or later. Instead, I'm going to try to get rid of two of these. And make the fight just a little easier. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. Nobody can handle that. So... Let's see, five damage... Puts him at 10. Puts him at 6. Kills him, or he attacks to the right. So we'll send out weakest warrior, weakest warrior, next weakest warrior. And just see what happens. I guess that was the best outcome I, I could have hoped for. Uh, my turn. Let's send out the weakest warrior. So yeah, he's gonna kill that guy, no problem. Um, I can't counter offense anymore. So, best warrior. And counter tactic. Nope, they're higher than level 2. That's unfortunate. So, counter tactic 3. There we go. Okay. He kills this one. He definitely kills that one. And then she's up. Let's make her a little stronger. And we win! Yay! Give me the children. At first, people shake their heads and murmur. Most turn away from you and start preparing for the road. But one mother comes up with her twins. I will not stay. I must go where my forefathers take me. But my children are too small to survive the road and its perils. Please, take them in. Of course. You spoke well, and we thank you for your kind offer. But our forefathers call to us, and we must answer. Good fortune to you. That is not what that says. But hey, we got a hunter and three children. I love it. It's exactly what we were hoping for. Okay, don't really care about that right now. For those... Okay, yeah, it was in my village. Good, so the children are protected, and we have a hunter now, who will eventually join my expedition. Can we deck you out with anything, hunter? Um, you have a five gathering. That's very impressive. Let's make that nine. From there, let's give you... Let's see, 152 for 10 armor. 182 for 10 armor. You get oh, way too heavy. Okay, you get two armor. Enjoy. Let's 
Fight Club isn't too powerful. I think I'd rather... Really? I'd rather you have piercing damage, and you really don't... I don't make much use of range damage often. Yeah... Okay. Let's go ahead and stop at the cosmic tree to advance that while we're here. You find the skeletal remains of a person, most likely an elf, as the bones have a slight silver tinge and are much lighter than any other humanoid bones you know. On the body, you discover a scroll that unrolls as soon as you touch it. There is a smell of burning wood in the air and the scroll itself seems to be warm to the touch. And so the cosmic trees stood in flames, and with it, the world burned alike. For as the canopy burned, so did the skies turn red, and the heavens were no more. As the core burned, the earth scorched, fields turned to ash, and Thea became a wasteland. Finally, as the roots burned, so did the gates to the underworld, and thus the souls of the dead could find no refuge. No peace, no purpose. You see some notes scribbled on the side of the scroll. I love how they recognize that a lot of their events have an overabundance of fluff, so they give you the option of skipping it. Note 1 is from an elven scholar who says he's looking for some answers to the darkness at an old grove. There is a map to the grove and five silver tree bark pieces that emanate with strange power. Note 2 is clearly scribbled in a hurry by a different writer, unknown. It suggests that the elves should not be trusted and that mankind's destiny should be their own. There is a mention of a very distinct tower and you can actually see it marked on the map as well as the Sage Tower. And that is right outside our gates. How convenient. You arrive at a tall stone-built tower. An arched doorway stands ajar and an old man waves at you to come in. You walk into the lower floors of the tower. The room is dark and dingy. The walls are filled with bookshelves, barely holding under the weight of the thousands of works that you think must be housed here. There is a desk and some chairs and the old man sits behind it. Come in, come in, sit and let us talk. I am Professor Anthony Hufka, formerly of the Grand University these days, well, on research leave, I suppose. Ah, the Elven Scroll. Have you found the Guardian yet? He went to that Grove place, but I've never been able to find out what happened to him. His pesky student ran off with the scroll before I could write down the directions. And I don't like leaving this tower anyway. Skip the story yet again. Ah, youth. Very well. In short, magic stifles progress. For humanity to achieve an age of reason and civilization, we must be rid of it once and for all. This is why we try to burn the blasted tree. And this is why you should finish the job for us. Ah, the Night Lord, yes. I suppose there is little sense in me talking further. You and your kin will forever mingle with your night creatures, and so you cannot fulfill my dream of reason and progress. Farewell. You find yourself standing in an empty field. No tower, no man, nothing. Decent experience for a quick story. Okay, let's drop off anything that we have. fish. Keep one basket for the medic eventually. I need 240. Well, I take it back. I'm ga gaining a hunter. So now I'm going to want 270. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. 
Do we have anything we can build now? See, I didn't really bring back anything. Maybe we can cook some meals while we wait. Yeah, I got some meat. That works. Keeps him busy for a few turns. Alright, next up. So I needed some spider silk and some coal as well as granite for the path. So let's go do that real quick. So this is either humans or demons. Let's go with a social challenge. Sometimes they'll drop everything they have or they'll one of them will join you. It's goblins. Okay, you're not very strong. You're gonna do four damage. You only need five to die. So there. Um, let's get rid of that offensive card. So, either direction, somebody's dead. He survives. So then we'll send her out, kill another, then uh, him, her, blah, 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 and we win. So we got a decent poison spear. I like that. Decent medium armor, quilted cloth, and maybe on one of our weaker people. So that spear is definitely an upgrade for our new hunter, which I like. Uh, he's not strong enough to equip that armor, but he is that one. So yeah, that's an upgrade. That was a good, uh, good social challenge for him. What else we got? I don't think anyone's going to need that 11 armor that can equip it, is what I should say. Yeah, no. You still have the blessing of strength. So, no. no. The same thing with you. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's clear out the goblin village. No, we can't move anyways. Levels! Ooh, lots of health. Beautiful, beautiful. And some strength and some gathering. Yeah, that's a great level for the expedition. Same thing with the village. Yes, lots of health. Some strength. The attractiveness is kind of whatever. Although I guess it does help in social challenges, which I'm wanting to focus on. Okay, Goblin Village still can't reach it. Next turn. Oh, three school fight, damn it. We have a turn. No, I'm not gonna waste my research point on fur. Do I want to do a three school challenge? Actually, I could probably social him. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. I don't know what the boar rider social would be, but the warriors are going to be weak. Just like that. Um, we cannot counter offense, unfortunately. So he's going to do five damage. Or sorry, four damage and, and needs five to die. So either of them can take it. We'll send out her. And then counter tactic while we're here. Never mind. They're higher than level three. There's the boar warrior. We'll get rid of that tactic. Thank you. Okay, if she attacks left, she kills him. If she attacks right, he is going to have eight life left. In which case, she would kill him. Assuming she attacks left. If she attacks right, well, he dies instead. Um, he's going to do three damage. So 
so he will absorb most of it. Send these guys out, and then make him stronger at the end. Just enough to kill him. That works. And they run away and drop all their gear. Perfect. 6-5, two-handed sword. Not really useful anymore. 15 armor, I like. 4-5 shield, not really useful. The ranged weapon has some uses. The 12 damage two-handed axe is weak compared to what we have now. So We got a decent armor and a ranged weapon out of that. Which we can put to use. Just not on our hunter. Let's see, 17 armor, 3 shield. That's not an upgrade. It is for you though. So enjoy that. 15. She's not strong enough to carry anything else. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ola can have the ranged crossbow as a just in case thing. We got so much stuff around us. Let's see. Some demons, which I could social them again. I think they're much better at the social, though. Or I could go for more spider silk, and I like the idea of spider silk. Oh, my hunter doesn't allow me to hunt them? That's unfortunate. Oh, it's undead. That's why. Just where there was a spider there. Oh well. Let's fight the undead. Send out the hammer. Send out the spear. So yeah, the hammer is going to kill him. And carry nine damage over to whatever's next. So, given that, we'll send out this warrior. Oh, yeah, he's dead. The next one. And the next one. Send out our spear just for the hell of it. Confuse everything to be safe. Shield her. And go. Don't need either of these. The necklace has its uses. There is a spider there. Okay, they were stacked on each other. Uh, folklore and faint. No folklore. No folklore. He has two folk. Oh, because of the rings. He has one because of the ring. None. None. Two because of one of the necklaces. So you can have the necklace. Spider Queen. I wanted to hunt you, damn it. Oh well. So his poke will do five, and then his actual attack will do 17 for a total of 22. Yes. And then the hammer. First action. Really? That screws up everything. Damn it, I did not plan this very well. If I allow this to continue, he's going to take maximum wounds just from the Spider Queen. I don't like that. I don't want to lose anyone. We're going to run away and take minor wounds. Yeah. And now I can hunt it. No, I can't. 
Does our hunter not have the hunting ability of traps? You do. Why can't I hunt? That's so weird. Social? There must be another stack on here. Yeah, Goblin Warriors. What is going to auto resolve? So we got a decent axe. I'll keep that. That's not really useful. You're not really useful. You're not really useful. So we got one axe out of the deal. Let's try this again. There we go. Hunting. Auto resolve. We got a will stone. Five silk, which is what I wanted to see. And a sturdiness ring. Not really. I guess I can use it for now. There's much better options later, though. Uh, sturdiness should go on a warrior. There you go. Oops, that was Will. Will should go on somebody who already has it, like her. Too heavy for her. Like her. Now the Goblin Village. Which again, a little social and auto. Oh, I didn't notice that there was a witch there. So yeah, Ola took a lot of damage. And we failed. So let's fight. That's what I get for not paying attention. So if I send her out, she's going to do five damage at first, which puts him at 36. And then 18 damage on the first turn, which puts him at 18. So I do her and him, that's 10 total, 31, 18, 17. So yeah, that would kill him on the second turn. Do I like that? Not really. Well, she'll kill him on the second turn before he ever acts. That's a, that's the plan. That's what we'll go with. And then the hammer. He kills her, no problem. Has five damage left to carry over. If he carries it this way, whatever. Doesn't matter. If he carries it this way, that would be super helpful. So the next warrior. Um, actually, there's just counter offense. And the next warrior. Then get everybody out. We should be fine. Yeah. Minor wounds. Well, that's okay. Except for Ola. Ola took max wounds, which is unfortunate. Let's see, this armor is decent. I can find a use for it. It's a bad quality ring, but it's still got a lot of stats on it use it. That axe is needed. Alright, Ola. Please don't die. I need you. We have a level 7 medic, so the chances are good that she survives. Let's see who needs this armor. 15 and 3. He's already got it. About the same. She could use it. Yeah, let's give it to her. It was lighter and gave two extra shielding. This ring, folklore, armor, distraction. 31, 35, 38, 33. Ola needs armor. Hopefully she lives. Oh yeah, that axe. Eh. Not that much of an improvement for him. Unfortunately, we can't camp, so we're just gonna have to hope Ola survives. One, two, three, go. Thea is not an easy place to grow up in, but alas, grow up we must. One of your children has matured into a young adult and is ready to join your village and rebuild Thea. So, no medic for our village, which means I want this one to join the expedition, which only has two gatherers. So let's give Becoming it a third. an adult is an important rite of passage. The whole village celebrates this joyous occasion. The youngster places a food offering at the altars of their gods, in thanks and in hopes for a good future. Let's 
so far she's surviving. She has one life now. Gotta hope the medic keeps doing his job, her job. Let's go for the tree. What are we going for? We were going for the silk. Uh, let's clear the treasure. You see fresh boar tracks. It looks like a large pack. Boars are a two to three skull challenge. We're wounded right now, so we'll ignore it. Get a free experience out of it. Um, I kind of want to camp just to be safe. For Ola. Wounds don't Damn always it. have a chance to heal, and so death can claim its prize. That's very unfortunate. Every death hurts. Damn it. You stumble across some ruins of an old city, engulfed in mist and mystery. You search the buildings and discover a supplies store still intact. Free loot. That's always nice. What do we got here? A bear. Who did not move. Okay, let's hunt this bear. Auto resolve. We get a really nice two-handed sword out of that bear. That bear ate some poor warrior. Weapon and all. Um, eight, five, and three. Yeah, you get the new sword. I know I'm wanting to gather materials, but I kind of want to clear this ruin out. Okay, let's walk through this. He does a lot of damage. And I cannot confuse him, but I can first action people. So I'm going to... Uh, I can first action him, which will do 32 damage in conjunction with her. She'll do 5 right now, and then 18 later with 32, which would be 50. So yeah, he's dead. No problem. We're going to poke with her, get rid of that skeleton. I guess I could have got rid of both and then poked. Oh well. Uh, he takes 21 to die, hammer. You. And then first action this guy. And that should be enough. Five, six, two, single, not really useful anymore. Okay, ruin cleared out. Now we can head towards this spider silk that I wanted. Well, I guess we'll gather some string. these bees our resolve got some amber out of it and very low quality armor don't really need that anymore so let's go here we'll use the ball movement that's okay another level lots of strength always nice to see herbalism on our medic is helpful for certain events more gathering is always nice I like that level the village. Some health is always nice. Some more gathering. Okay. It's decent. Alright. Let's camp for a while. We need spider silk. So you can get the exotic fruit. The spider silk. Perfect. You get that, and that's it. How much spider silk do you need for that 
road. 40. Okay. 40 it is. Some demons attacking the village. Oh, I never equipped that gather. Uh, that was dumb. Oh well. Level 6. I cannot confuse him again. I can't counter anything. The hammer could kill it, but she's going to take 18 damage, which I cannot shield, so I'd rather send out the shielded maiden and shield her for just a little bit more. Of course, there was a second spear. So I need to shield her for more. Let's see, that's gonna do 14 damage to somebody. I don't like this. If she attacks this way, the person doesn't take damage. If she attacks this way, she kills it, but then this person takes damage. 14 damage. She at least won't take maximum wounds from it. She definitely kills that thing now. Um, and then our hammer. Yeah. We'll shield her just in case. Support that hammer for more damage going through. And let's see what happens. Shield. Oh, it couldn't have gone any better for us. No damage whatsoever. That was all luck. Quilted cloth, not too bad for light armor. That's good. That's bad quality, we have better ones now. So, let's see if anyone needs that gear we just got. That was the cloth armor. Still too heavy for him. Five versus six. Same weight, so that's one armor more. It's always an improvement. Eleven. He needs armor. You can have that one. Uh, you need a weapon. See, I could give you a one handed axe and a shield. Sure. Sure. Why not? Why not? 353 three shield. There you go, now you're attractive too. And you're a gatherer, so let's make you a better gatherer. I like it. Plan slowly coming together. Alright, Expedition 1. You have gathered 12 total spider silk. We need 40. Goblin warriors are getting kind of weak now. Let's see, best warrior. Yeah, you're definitely dead. You can kill him on your next turn, no problem. And then you're confused, so you're dead. And we win. Six and one, even better than what I've seen. Still not really useful. Six and five, not useful. Eight piercing damage, still has its uses. Let's see. She has a poison spear, he has a poison spear. So that spear is not useful for this group, but it can be for another member later on. We've now gathered 19, halfway there. 26, 33. Yeah, one more turn. There's our 40 spider silk. Thank you very much. 
Now we need some coal. I can go there or I can go right here. This one's kind of closer. And I can swing around, kill that goblin village. Yeah, let's do that. on the coal. Uh, actually, you need to get a little fruit. You can help with the coal. You can help with the coal. That's good. And I guess gather some wood. Never mind. No wood. We're almost encumbered. So, how much coal did I need for that building? Okay, and then I need granite. That's gonna be the hoop. That's right, Ola died. So let's see if her gear is an improvement for anyone. 15 and 3, that's also a 15 and 3. It's way too heavy for her. Five armor. That's an improvement that she can equip. Uh, one extraction, two armor. No, we'll just give it to her. Okay. There are strange noises in your village at night. Uh-oh. As you prepare to go to sleep and take one last look out of the windows, you see that the ground seems to be moving. You shout to your fellow villagers and soon realize that your home is swarming with rats. Hmm. Is my village ready for a three school challenge? If I do this one, they're going to run off with some stuff. Let's try. Nine fat rats and some hulking rats. Oh. All right, hammer, show us what you can do. You cannot even kill a single fat rat. Ouch. And they're gonna do 12 damage each. Oh. I can first action somebody. That somebody being her, maybe her, because then his 19 will kill this rat. Let's see, it's going to be two, three, four, five, six active rats. Let's just assume that all six are fat rats. First action her, she's going to kill one, he's going to kill two, three, and then probably fail on the fourth. So three attacks are going to get through. That's more than I want to deal with, so we've just failed this challenge. You failed to get rid of the rat infestation in time. The vermin eat through all your food supplies, and some of your people fall ill as well. So he took max damage, that was unfortunate. And then everyone is sick. Two people are heavily sick. And we ate 200 fish. That was a very unfortunate event. We were not prepared. And there's a three skull fight outside. So this could be the beginning of the end for this run. Which isn't too bad. I mean, we've lasted quite a while, done quite a bit. Yeah, he's taking max wounds. Um, if that were to happen, our current score is 
Yeah, we will level up once. And damn near level up a second time. So let's see how far we can take this. We only need 10 coal, right? Yeah, so we're good there. Got our coal. Now we need granite. Which was right there. I need to research it real quick. Let's clear out the goblin village while we're at it. Uh, let's social them down. Boss and two shamans. Not gonna make the same mistake twice. We're gonna handle this ourselves. Uh, send out the nine first. Ooh. Ooh. We can potentially counter tactic. That's one less card to deal with. Yeah. I like that. Okay, we cannot confuse. I can first action somebody, but that's not really going to help. She will barely survive the 12 damage if she attacks this way. And then the boss. Um, do I use him to first action? I guess I could. And then that would be a 9, 12, 21. Still not enough to kill. Unless she also attacks this way, and then she'll die, and then she dies. It gives us a chance. I guess I like a chance better than giving up. So support ally, support ally, first action. Damn it. Well, I guess that worked out the, the best way now that I think about it. Because we can handle this. We'll just counter offense. They do nothing and then clean up. Clean up, clean up. We're done. We win! Like there was any doubt. <laughs> uh, seventeen two. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bad quality, but hey, it's one gathering. Eleven and two. That's one will. Four one. Bad quality. Yeah, you can go. Uh, King's Quest. I want to. No. Oh man, we're gonna be over encumbered. Before you is a group of black wolves attacking something. As you look closer, you realize there are two packs. One attacking a small baby, and one fighting not far with something else. On this event, always investigate. You see that the child is clearly protected by some magic, as the wolves seem unable to get to it. However, you're not certain how long this shield will last. You also see that the other group is fighting with a single black cat that is putting up a good fight, but clearly losing its strength now. So the ironic thing about this event, if you choose to help only one, either way it's a three skull challenge. If you split your party, which removes two members from the next fight, it becomes a two skull challenge. So yeah, you're weakening yourself, but you're making the fight so much easier. And you have a very good chance of getting a child and a blessing. So it just behooves you to split your party. You send a small group to protect the child and the rest to help the cat. Okay, not a problem. That wolf is going to die to her on the next turn. His hammer will kill the next two. I can do that too. Ha ha! And we win. Just like that. You won. And we got another one of those necklaces. This one's even better. It was not easy, but both cat and child are fine. The cat's eyes shine gold, and you could swear it smiles at you. 
you feel a surge of positive energy. So yeah, this is a permanent stat increase of animal kinship. Which he didn't have before, but still, it's nice. And a temporary blessing plus one child. All good things. And now we're overweight. Uh, let's see. That's a bad quality sword. Let's just go ahead and dismantle what we can that's not useful. Because that usually saves weight. For instance, 6111. We dismantle that. Uh, yeah. That's 163. I think that's still useful. The hammer can go. Mm, excuse me. The spear. The other spear. The weak armor. This is the one I just crafted. It's 164 weight for 12 armor. I think I'll keep this one and get rid of everything else. And then these can just stay. So that gives me a little bit of room to collect some granite. I don't remember how much of that I needed as well. well let's find out. So Blessed Path needs 15 granite. Oh, which we already have. What am I doing? Oh, I just dismantled all that stuff needlessly. Oh, well. I guess we can check out the King's Quest as we head home. Wounds don't always have a chance to heal, and so death can claim its prize. So, two villagers dead. Let's go ahead and add one of those. Call it death count. Dead villagers. Two. Let's give it an outline. Okay. Put it right in the center. There, we'll see how that looks. That looks good. All right. Spiders. It's one skull, auto resolve, more silk, just what I wanted. No longer need that sword, goodbye. Let's check out the quest. You follow the treasure map provided by King Arathor, and you come across a great ravine. You know that the next clue to where the treasure is lies beyond. There is a bridge that can lead you safely over the ravine, but you see a ghostly figure standing at the threshold. So if any of you are familiar with Monty Python's search for the Holy Grail, uh, this event, it will be very familiar to you. You approach the bridge and the ghost turns to you and speaks. If the bridge you seek to cross, you must be ready for a loss. Questions of you will be asked and with answers you are tasked. But beware of answers wrong lest you prove not so very strong. Three questions I will ask. And you must finish the whole task. Very well, we will face your questions. The one who speaks is the one who the truth seeks, and should they fail, their fate will prevail. The first person walks up to the ghost, and it speaks again. What is your name? Good, good. good, good. Next question. What is your favored color on this earth? Purple, of course. Correct. The final answer you must now give. What speed would a rock thrown by a troll fly? And this is what I was talking about. You can go the boring route and give him a specific answer. Or you can take the Monty Python route. The ghost looks at you, confused, and speaks. I... I don't know 
Really, an invisible force hits the ghost and it falls down the ravine. As it hits the rocks, you hear, You have passed the test, brave knight. Everything falls silent. And on the other side of the bridge, you find another map with instructions to find the treasure. You also feel that some of the ghost's essence got into a weapon you carry, and it now deals poison damage. So this sword now does two additional poison damage. The map is simple, but clearly inscribed with magic, so it should be easy to follow. Okay, that's a little bit out of the way for now. Uh, whose sword was that? That's the question I want to know. It was a one-handed sword. It was not that one. It was that one. So, Peter. Peter now has a much more poisony blade. Uh, let's make both of them slight. Oh, she's too weak. He can have both. Make him better at gathering. You're now a badass gatherer. He already has the will. Let's give you a little bit more will. There we go. Now head home. Making your way through the woodlands, you hear the cries of a child. You get in closer and see a young girl, maybe 10 years old, huddled among the bushes, surrounded by growling wolves. When the wolves smell you, they howl and run off. The child gets up and walks over to you. She's wearing a long, rusty red coat and has two thick plaits sticking out from under a hood. Thank you, thank you, strangers. But now you must go and save my grandma. Oh, please go and save her. And this one is a very twisted uh, outlook on Red Riding Hood. My granny, she lives far in the woods. I was there and the wolves came and she told me to run, but now you must go and save her. The girl leads you to a solitary hut, deep within these dark woods. An older woman appears at the door before you even knock. There are no signs of fighting or wolves, although you do see wolf tracks leading in and out of this place. The woman speaks. Keep your distance. I dislike people and the feeling proves mutual on most occasions. Did my unwavering grandchild lead you here? You turn to point at the girl, but notice she is gone. The woman frowns and shakes her head. Stupid child, so stubborn, so wild. You should leave here, for I cannot hold myself calm this night. Suddenly, you're very aware of the red full moon shining above your heads. The old woman grabbed her stomach in a sudden convulsion of pain. When she straightens again, her face is twisted, and when she speaks, it's through a tightened jaw. She is away, of course, the sniveling, cowardly pup that she is. She'll bring me gifts every full moon. She'll torment me, never let me stow away the beast. But she never stays, afraid of my true anger. I was the one who killed her parents, not intentionally. Nevertheless, they followed me and died, and the child does not forgive. Why, you, of course. You are my sick gifts. Every full moon I lock myself here, warded against me leaving the circle, but she will not let me be. I am an ancient beast, a huntress of the night, a werewolf if you must know, but I have sworn off killing and bloodshed, yet my primal urges cannot be tamed at full moon. Only here can I stay safe, but when she brings me people, I prepared myself this time. I brought silver and elderflower cordial, and it slows my transformation. It pains me beyond words, and I cannot ever do it myself. Yet, something needs doing. My pup will only grow wilder and more bloodthirsty. You must hunt her down and kill her. I will even give you an amulet so you can track her easier. Just please, do it quick. The woman nods, and tears run down her cheeks as she hands you a small ivory amulet with an arrow always pointing in one direction. Here is the amulet and my blessing upon you. Now go, for I feel my change coming and you must not stay here. So this is nice, our hunter gets even better at hunting and Peter suddenly gains hunting. And then we will hunt her. That's an easy one, so I'm just gonna auto resolve it. You track down the girl and her fledgling pack of wolves. You are able to shoot them down before they even realize they've been spotted. The girl's body is half turned into a wolf, but you still see the scared face of a child looking at you. You find a precious ruby necklace on her, with a drawing of her and an older woman inside. So 
a slightly better will stone and really nice light armor that was a good event so I'm gonna go ahead and equip these things real quick yeah you need that armor let's see who needs we can have the improved will stone and then for the hell of it you have more will okay let's end our turn check out what these levels are our medic is suddenly a badass medic I like it that's a good level yeah, that's a good level cool alright that is it for me my time is done Thank you for coming out and watching Thea The Awakening. I am Demordred. I try to stream every day from 1 Pacific to 3 Pacific time. Uh, come out and check me out sometime if you want. Uh, thank you. I'll see you all tomorrow.